Now, if you're selling in the spring, there's a couple things I want you to keep in mind. Number one, curb appeal. When somebody pulls up to your house, you want to make it as beautiful as you can. And personally, I think every front porch looks a little bit better with a little bit of color. So you can always get you some flowers, all kinds of things. Now, when I think of curb appeal, I'm not just thinking of your yard because that's when people drive by or drive into it to see it. But I also think of online photos as being part of your curb appeal because that's where somebody's sitting on their phone and they're flipping through those photos and what they're making a decision of is do I want to see this in person? The second thing if you're selling this spring, you're going to have to be flexible. And when I say flexible, what it means is there's more buyers which equals more showings. So sometimes you want to say, I will make this work because if you tell people no, there's no guarantee that they'll come back to your house because they might find another house that they decide to make an offer on. But if they'd seen yours, they would have picked it. So make sure you're being flexible. So the third thing I would tell you is who you hire matters. You want somebody that can market and negotiate on your behalf and get you what you want so that you are moving on this spring and summer.